the simplest, most delicious grilled chicken in only five minutes. Fine, so there's a couple minutes of prep to get you to the only five minute of cooking part. But still, can't argue with this. How many people say, I don't have time to cook? No time, don't have time to cook, Sam. Can't pull it off. I say, bullshit. <laughs> you have time. You always have time, seriously. And this is delicious. And the number of things that you can make with this chicken when we're done is honestly stupid. You hear me, stupid? No, I'm not calling you stupid. I'm, I'm just saying, it's stupid. But we make a quick marinade, cut the chicken, it goes in, goes to the grill. Like, honestly, like four and a half minutes later, we're done. And while I have your attention, it's the perfect chance for me to say, hey, why don't you subscribe if you like what you're watching? I know you haven't seen any cooking yet, but it's coming and you'll like it. Smash that like button. Hit the, the like button and the notification bell. Tell your friends, we're here for you. We don't ask for very much, do we boys? No. Nope. We don't ask for very much. We're gonna start with a big bowl. To our bowl, we'll start with some olive oil. Lovely, don't need too much. And then we'll add some crushed garlic. A big clove, juice of half a lemon. I don't care about seeds. They're not gonna be a problem. Generous pinch of kosher salt and pepper. About a quarter teaspoon red pepper flakes. Maybe an eighth. A little pinch, a pinch. And now some fresh rosemary. If you have it, if not dried, will be fine. Yes, this has a decidedly Mediterranean flavor to it. I'll just take some of this out and cut it up. This package says local. Like, how many miles would you guys consider local? 25? Yeah. What if it's 100 miles? Is that local? Like, I don't really believe when they say local. That means, like, down the street, right? This rosemary is going to perfume this chicken beautifully. That goes in. A couple random pieces. Give it a little whisk. Yummo! Oh my god. Rachel Ray says that. Yes, I apologize. That just happened. Yummo! Oh my god. No, didn't mean to say that. We all heard it. A quick wipe, and now our chicken. And here's what I have I have two beautiful chicken breasts, boneless. Of course, you could put them on the grill like this, but what are we trying to do, Max? Make them thin. Cook them in five minutes. Yeah, exactly. This is going to take too long, and you're going to be screwing around. So here's what we're going to do. Chance knows nothing. <laughs> we're going to take a knife. Little bits of fat you take off if you want. It's no big deal. And now we're going to cut this guy in half. So as evenly as you can, and I've never been really great at this, we want to cut all the way through, just like this. And you can continue here. So you open this guy up, and what you're gonna end up with is two sides to this. So we'll do it to the other one, then I'll show you what we're gonna do. Same thing. Knife, halfway, bring it down. Careful, careful, careful. Open up the book, couple more cuts, and we're open. So now what we do is we'll take a Ziploc bag one at a time with just a tiny bit of oil on the chicken. This guy, this guy. We'll get it on both sides. One at a time, we'll put them in the bag. And then spread them out and give them some gentle pounding. Clean it up, boys. And the goal here is always the same. Doesn't matter how thick, we just want an even thickness so they cook at the same time. And when we're done, out comes the kid. We got him like this. We're gonna cut him in half. This way, and then right into our marinade. One goes in, two goes in. We'll give them a quick turn. They do the other one, put them in too. This guy goes in the bag. 
There's a smooth side and there's a rough side. I like pounding on the smooth side. I think you have a greater chance of not ripping it. Perfect. This comes off. So we gotta cut this guy in half now. In they go. Let's get both sides covered. Nice. Make sure they're covered well. Beautiful. Look how gorgeous that stuff is. That's a pretty shot, huh? Honestly, it's, it's really quite beautiful. If you can call raw chicken lightly marinated uh, beautiful. And I know some of you are thinking, wait, Sam, I've seen you do this before, but you've taken the entire breast and put it in the Ziploc bag and pounded it out and gotten a big wide one. Well, that's fine, but sometimes I like individual size breasts or cutlets for my guests. The big one, I find myself cutting up like for a salad or something like that. This one, four people, everybody gets their own. And when it's not part of a bigger one, the color is perfect all the way around it. You know, if this is a giant one that I cook and then I cut in half, I've got this cut mark here with like no grill, burn marks, any of that. And these guys will all have their own perfect set markings all the way around. We good? Good. Uh, now I'm gonna light my grill and let me show you my thinking because people ask me when I do certain things and I thought I would, well, just take a second and show you that. So come on everybody, come to the grill. Here's my grill. You can see it's pretty dirty. There's lots of gunk here and lots of gunk here. The last time I cooked, when it was finished, I took the food off, I turned off the gas, I shut the lid, and I left it. There's two ways you can clean a grill. What I think a lot of people do to clean their grill is they take the food off when they finish cooking, they crank up the gas, close the lid, and they leave it for 10 or 15 minutes. It burns off the food. They come back and they wipe it down, turn off the gas, and they're good to go. But you always need to start with a super hot grill, which means turning on the gas and letting it go for 10 minutes or so. I use that time to burn off the food that's on it. When I finish cooking, I turn off the gas, I shut the lid, I walk away, because I know I have to get it hot the next time, and that's the time I use to burn off all the shit. Does it make sense? Plus, if you're using a tank, it's not plumbed by natural gas line. If you forget to come back and turn it off and clean it after dinner, you've lost a whole tank of gas. I can't tell you how many times that happened to me, so don't do that. Finish cooking, turn it off, shut the lid, go away. Don't even think about it till the next time. Crank the heat, burn it, get your, your brush, clean it off, you're good to go, as I will now start to do. So on goes my gas on this side. There we go. All right, flame there, we'll go flame here. This side though has a problem and I need to do this. I know it's not very sophisticated, but it works. They're both on high, we shut the lid. And when it starts smoking, we come back. And there you go. So what's happening, the heat is melting this stuff, making it much easier to take your brush and go like this. Look at that. I'd have to work three times as hard if it was cold. Look at that. Like you're wiping pablum off a baby's face. It's a piece of cake. Now it's time to cook. And with the grill now smoking a little bit from the spray that I put on it so my chicken wouldn't stick, on we go. Hello, handsome. And again. And again, and again. And now the clock is running. We're going three minutes on this side. We're gonna turn them in a minute and a half to cross hatch with marks. They'll be almost done at the end of three minutes. We'll flip it to the other side for 30, 45 seconds and we should be done. Now I know this is exciting to watch, but one of the keys, close your lid. And at the halfway point, we open the lid Turn our chicken 45 degrees, but we'll have a look first. Is that gorgeous? Yep. Is that gorgeous? Yep. Is that gorgeous? Hell yeah. 
Oops. Close the light again. Okay, we're here. Let's flip these guys over. Gorgeous. Oh my. Oh my, clearly this kid's got to get up in the, the hot section. And there we go. What temperature are we looking for, boys? 165. Well, yeah, the government says 165. I think if you pull it at in anything from like 158, 160, you're going to be fine. We got one more minute on this side, maybe, and then we're going to be there. But that's some beautiful freaking chicken, huh? And they're ready. They're gorgeous. And off they come. And down we go. Hello, my lovelies. Oh, man. Look how gorgeous these guys are. Look it. It's that simple. The smell from here is insane. They look beautiful. I see little bits of the rosemary and the, the chili and the garlic on these guys. I know they are going to be perfect in less than five minutes, and now we must just simply have a bite. So we'll just grab this kit on the end. And I, I say this all the time, we're here to learn. You cut against the grain. You can see the grain of the chicken runs this way. You want to cut it this way and you break up the fibers and make it much more tender than if you cut it long ways. And here's your gorgeous, perfectly cooked, juicy, moist, tender piece of chicken that you're going to be really happy with. Hello, Greece. Mm. Look, w you often associate dryness with chicken breasts. No more, my friends. This is the way to do it. And, and while I've used sort of Mediterranean-ish flavors, you very easily could have used Asian flavors. And while I use Mediterranean flavors for this, you very easily could have used Asian flavors. Garlic, yes. Oil, yes, but maybe ginger too, a splash of soy, that could work. Maybe a little sriracha. You could do sort of barbecue flavors with a, with a rub and the oil and the garlic and the same thing. It's tremendous. The best part is you can make so many things with chicken once you've gotten to this point in really only a few minutes. Think about it. Enchiladas, casseroles, soups, salads, Chicken pot pies, pizzas, sandwiches, wraps, egg rolls, stir fries. 